Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of cooking. I feel like it's like, this is what, this is the, the feeling I had for these videos. You know when you like go out with your friends and you get into that deep, rich, awesome conversation, like before you go like and have a meal? Yeah. No? Mm. I, I didn't like, see your guy friends. I feel like the deep, rich conversations you'll be having will probably be deeper and richer than the conversations I'll be having, but... I feel like it depends on who you're surrounding yourself with. So, I find that when I go out with my friends, maybe not yours, like, they... Like, you get into this good, hearty, deep conversation and... Like football. No. <laughs> No, I said hearty conversation. Then it's like you have a great meal and that's kind of what I wanted to bring to you guys here on this channel. So as usual, as usual as last couple videos like this, we have some questions that we're going to be answering and we would love if you took the time to answer them in the comment section down below. Let us know what your thoughts are on these questions and just kind of have a good healthy, hearty conversation. Yeah, and you might want to cook yourself a meal as well while, I mean, you're, while, you're, at, while you're answering these questions. You can head over to the blog post and then see the ingredients that we use for what we're having for dinner right after this, and then maybe cook along with us, but that might be too much effort. Anyways, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so is there anything that you consider unforgivable? Ooh. Right. It, it, it depends on, I feel like there's things that would have to happen for me to know, but I even, I, I like reading the crime sections of the newspapers and I see these like, um, you know, murders and things like that and I always really admire the people that take the time to meet with the people that have murdered their loved ones and forgive them and I think that is brilliant. And I would like to think that in the right circumstances I would be able to do that. But I think there are some circumstances where I wouldn't be able to forgive someone if they did that. Like, I love like, you're he, being so diplomatic because the camera's of, on when he's like, I couldn't forgive them! I yeah. couldn't forgive them! Like the heat of the moment type things that weren't, <laughs> that weren't planned, I feel like you could forgive. But if something was planned out and, you know, the, there was thought behind it, I don't think I'd be able to forgive that. I feel like you're constructing your idea. I can forgive, your... Most, I can forgive most things. I think I feel I'm like, quite a forgiving person, aren't I? I feel like you're quite a forgiving person to the point where I feel like sometimes you have no backbone. Whereas I think sometimes like I, it, I, it's I, re it is required to put boundaries and have a backbone for certain I, I things. I don't think I could forgive someone if they did something to one of our dogs. Mm. They're an animal, they're defenseless. And that sounds really, really stupid, doesn't it? But like humans can argue back, can't they? And like you can get into an argument and. So I think I'm quite the opposite, <laughs> as everything in this relationship. Um, I think that for me, it would be harder for me to forgive something that is. I don't want to say intentional, but here's the thing: if someone harmed the dogs, they would have to have something seriously wrong with them in order to do that. So my brain can almost mm -hmm. rationalize that they're crazy or they're a psychopath yeah, more than I can rationalize maybe certain people in our lives doing certain things to us, things like that. Mm -hmm. I think for me, like whether it's my family, whether it's your friends, your family, etc., there's certain things that I can't comprehend and are a little bit I wouldn't say unforgivable because I think that, I guess for me, what was even the original question? It's like, something that you. Is there anything forgivable. that you consider unforgivable? I. Okay, we'll over spiritualize this. I think that everything is forgivable because that is what grace is, essentially. But that doesn't mean that you keep this person in your proximity in order for it to happen again. Yeah. I think forgiveness. And doesn't mean you have to like them as well, does it? No, I think yeah. forgiveness and having boundaries is like two different things. And I think, yeah, I think for me, it's harder for me to forgive people that are, say, one of our friends say they did something to us or they said something to us or they didn't support us in something. It would be harder for me to forgive that 
Mm, but I think there's also like a defense mechanism in me mm. because I wouldn't want to have that situation happen again. Five minutes in, wrong one question. Good, good question, huh? <laughs> yeah. See, good, hearty conversation. Mm. You were gonna poo poo it at first, and mm. yeah, here you are. Okay, next question. If you woke up tomorrow with no fear, what would you do first? Oh, uh, hot air balloon. Because you're desperate. Living, you're living in Bristol. You're absolutely desperate. Look Bristol balloon fiesta. And, and mark my words, whether I want to or not, I'm going on a hot air balloon and I do not. Uh, 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 air uh, air uh, balloon. That was super silly, wasn't it? A hot air balloon. Um, I will be going on one and I don't want to. You want to know what mine is? Go on then. Go to the dentist. <laughs> I've got to go to the dentist next week. Yeah, I, yeah, I've been to the dentist once in 15 years, so... That is bad. <laughs> okay, last question before we go eat something. In your life, what has been the biggest... Oh, if you don't say this one thing. <laughs> I'll get this wrong now. <laughs> in your life, what has been the biggest blessing in disguise? Oh, you? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I don't know, is it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or would you prefer to be in your last relationship? No, yeah, you. I would say the same. I think that's the thing about relationships is that in the moment where you're in them and maybe you're heartbroken, it feels like, why is this happening to you? But then when you look back on it... It is funny because there's things that I moan about. Me. Religiously, yeah. But there's, there's things that I'm like, oh, why does this always happen to me? And because you, like, analyse people inside out, you're like, well, because, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And now I have started to change a little bit, haven't I? Yeah. Stop sort of wallowing in self-pity. You heard it here first. <laughs> We're about to go have some dinner, but thanks for joining us. Uh, I hope you like what we cooked. Let us know if you want to answer any of these questions in the comment section down below, and let us know if you're going to try out the recipe that we have for dinner. You ready to eat? And let us know if you can forgive us. <laughs> totally. <laughs>